Hi, everybody. From the Fox 9 Weather Center, it's your old pal, Chief Meteorologist Ian Leonard. Look, uh, you have to be honest with yourself. A day like today, when we get out of um, some brutally cold temperatures yesterday, so incredibly mild. Today felt and looked an awful lot like an early October day. It is a very quiet night tonight. And I want to tell you, <clears throat> the internet is a flutter. A flutter not only for our forecast, but for a really decent possibility of northern light viewing throughout a good portion of the Fox 9 viewing area tomorrow night. So this is from uh, the Space Weather Prediction Center, and yes, that is something. But as you look here, you see the lines that roll all the way down to southern Iowa, and then there's a red line. That is the southern extent viewing line. Gives you an idea, it's a pretty good chance. Now, if there is a limiting factor, it is the waning full moon, the beaver, the frost moon from back on Monday night. I've given you a better idea here what it looks like. That's a pretty decent look at this entire area, getting a good glance at the northern lights. Like I said, a little light pollution from uh, what was a full moon on Monday. You look back at today. This is an early October forecast. My gosh. 40s and 50s on the map under a mainly sunny sky. And as we move forward, things change, but not too terribly much. We'll turn our winds out of the northwest tomorrow. That northwest wind will drop temperatures, but still slightly above average. Mid to upper 30s tomorrow, mainly sunny skies. December arrives on Friday. Tough to believe we leave November with just four tenths of an inch of snow. That is a top 10 driest November since 1872. So a snow drought is definitely in place. And as we work into Saturday and Sunday, we'll cloud things over high temperatures still above average Sunday, an outside chance of a scattered flurry. But then look the first week of December and we're talking high temperatures in the upper 30s with brilliant sunshine. I got to tell you, it certainly doesn't look or feel like winter locally anytime soon.